Hi guys, and welcome back to another Lyrical Breakdown, or maybe welcome for the first time. I'm happy to meet you and have you here with us. Uh, so yes, welcome to my Lyrical Breakdowns. Um, I'm no expert or anything like that, uh, but I do like to let you know my thoughts and kind of maybe let you know some new things. And you can correct me uh, down in the comments on any mistakes that you feel that I made. <laughs> um, yeah. So this one is a little bit more like creepy Halloweeny. I was trying to find like something kind of themed uh, to Halloween, uh, and you know, so I was like checking into like horrorcore and stuff like that, and other ones that um, have been suggested um, in the past. So um, Grave Diggers has definitely um, come up before, has definitely been suggested. So um, this week I am uh, answering your request. I'm doing Grave Diggers, uh, Six Feet Deep off of their album, Six Feet Deep, which came out August 9th, 1994. Um, so yeah, it's like some old school horrorcore kind of feeling. Um, there's four guys in the group and I think that they have like buddies that kind of like show up like as well um i do believe one of the members has passed away since um the time that this song was recorded um i didn't really like look into that or like how he died but um yeah if you guys do know um i mean i suppose i could just google it but <laughs> um if you guys do know you can also let me know down in the comments below so uh, yeah let me know what you guys are being for halloween if you guys are dressing up or anything like that I um, went as uh, Bob Ross to a Halloween party this year. Um, maybe we can insert a picture. I don't know if we can. But uh, yeah, it's just a, it was a fun costume. Um, I enjoy doing random stuff like that. So let's get into the song. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting one. So let's check it out. So for the intro, we have Poetic, who I believe is their DJ. He's not necessarily like a member of the, the group, but he's like associated with them, I think. Um, so sup, this is the Grave Diggers Jam Session, add a little riff. What's today's date? Today's the 20th, Friday, the 20th of May, 1994. We're chilling in GLC Studios. And we're going to do, and we're going to go like this. Got my man, BB Fruquan, look at this riff. So he's basically like setting the scene for us, like, you know, kind of like the, the who, what, when, where, um, you know, saying like where they're, where they are, who's there, um, when it is, um, uh, and yeah, they're just going to like, you know, chill and, um, what they're going to do. So let's go into, and then it goes like right into the hook. So let's check that out. It's a fun one, but it like, it definitely like pops up over and over and over again. Um, uh, so the first is the first and only time that it goes, uh, two times in a row. So it's G to the R to the A to the V to the E, I'm sorry, the E to the D to the I to the G, G to the A to the zigzag Z, grave diggers blank, six feet deep. So yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's definitely, um, catchy. It's kind of like a, a sing-along kind of a hook that we have here. Um, I like it and it could be like, you could be digging along to like the grave, you know, or digging the grave while listening to this song. Um, if you want to do that as well. Um, and it's also just kind of saying like, if you, you know, you're going to end up in a six feet deep hole, if you keep on digging, you know, kind of like you're going to dig yourself into like trouble into like a situation. Um, so let's go into verse one, which is, um, the Grim Reaper. I think he's the, the one that has passed away. Um, so I floss my teeth on a gospel track. I'm not an apostle, but I bring the ax to you back. I chew an attack like crest on plaque. After that, your world is black. You drop into a hole. Your mold separates from your soul. Behold, the grave diggers, grave diggers <laughs> told you beware, but you didn't listen. So now we appear eardrums glisten. Ha ha. So he's basically saying he performs over gospel tracks, but he's definitely not a religious guy. Um, and he'll like backstab you. He'll do whatever it takes to like kind of beat you. And that's kind of what he's saying. Like he's going to destroy you like the plaque um, when you get plaque on your teeth. So I thought that that was kind of like a, you know, an interesting line playing with like dentistry talk, <laughs> oral hygiene. Um, so after he destroys you, your world will be dark kind of like the six feet hole that you're going to fall into. Like it's going to be dark in there. Um, your body and your soul will split, you know, won't, it'll come apart. You know, your soul will go one way and your body will just stay. Um, 
So they warned you not to challenge them, but you didn't listen. And basically now your ears are leaking, which I find pretty gross. Um, it's usually like some sort of like eardrum exploding or something like that or like brain damage of some sort. Um, so then we have the hook again. I'll read it. I'll read it a couple times and then I'll just say it's the hook. Um, so G to the R to the A to the V, E to the D to the I to the G, G to the A to the zigzag Z, grave diggers blank, six feet deep. So I love it though. It's a really simple chorus. It's really catchy. And it's really fun, but it's kind of perfect in this like weird, creepy song that has kind of like off key music as well. It's, it's an interesting song. If you haven't checked it out and you're looking for like a Halloween kind of like vibey track, check this one out. It's going to be fun. Um, so verse two, we've got gatekeeper. So when I wreck, I commence to detect ready to dissect so come step alive and die next murder is mayhem digging graves is a regular treacher us mangler the boston strangler heated and trapped in a fury in a fury of hate daredevil the rhyme re rebel my art terminates so when he gets into like attack mode he is ready to do any crazy thing that he needs to do um, he has to keep digging graves because he keeps murdering people, I guess. Duh. Uh, I guess that's why you have to keep, you know, going some, like, secret place and digging a grave like a criminal. Um, so he destroys people and um, they don't look the same after, basically. He's, you know, they're probably decomposing a little bit. Um, and then he talks about the Boston Strangler who was, um, I think it was in, like, the early 1960s. He was a guy who was in Boston and he killed, um, I think around 13 women, if I'm not mistaken. So pretty crazy stuff. And the reason, um, behind that is probably like attributed to like hate, like why that guy like did all of this. Um, and then he also says that he will say anything like a rebel. So, so and so let's get into the rest of that verse, uh, subduing and pulverizing your head, you bleed, fell dead and your to tombstone red. Rizad to the recta, grim to the reaper, under to the taker, gate to the keep, creeping through the ghettos and the slums and streets, grave diggers blank, six feet. So um, he'll cause you to shut your mouth and kind of like fuck with your head a bit. Um, and then he kind of says like all of their like rap names will be on their gravestones. Um, you know, and we have, um, you know, for if you guys didn't know who's in here, Riza is featured on this um, or in this group. Um, in case you didn't know. And um, what else was the rest of it? Do, 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 do. So they basically get by by like living in like dangerous hoods. And that's where like these battles begin. And like whether it's like rap or otherwise. So he's just kind of letting you know. And then we have verse 3. Resurrecta. Um, so the darkness shall fall upon y'all who slept on the styles that crept through the door. The grave behind we come to save. So don't be it afraid of the dark we spark like light in night excite excite is right is right come follow the light and see what i see and be what i be the g to the r to the a to the v to the e so death comes to everyone i think is what he's trying to say here um and you're going to fail this battle because you're not like up to like date and like you know with like the new styles and like what other people are doing um, and that's how, like, you're going to be destroyed, I guess. Um, so they're not only here to win, but they're also to, like, kind of show off, enlighten you, give you knowledge on, like, what's kind of, like, the up-and-coming, like, rap styles at the same time. So it's, you know, gives you something to, like, kind of, like, strive to be or, like, a level and, you know, just, you know, it's really interesting. So they will excite you, um, you know, the crowd, I think he's talking to. Um, come see his power, see... Th things like him, you know, and the grave excite him, excites him because he's obviously, like, been up to sh some shenanigans or he will bury you in the grave, you know, because of the battles. So then we have the hook again. G to the R to the A to the V, E to the D to the I to the G, G to the A to the zigzag Z, grave diggers blank, six feet deep. So then verse four, here we have gatekeeper. Um, in the mind, I come with the sparks from the attic, yet psychopathic brain tracks is tragic. Twist, lift, and, <laughs> twist, lift, and wrist like riff on a Taurus. Deep in the forest, I slay for the porridge, yet it's cold. 
ye die slow like a tortoise, deep in my chorus, ye, ye result dig a mortis. Let me see, I'm casting disease contrary, yet some fairy cause you bleed. So I think he's kind of talking about that he kind of gets his ideas when he's high, like high up in the attic. That's what I interpreted from that. Um, and he kind of says that he's crazy and he's kind of inspired by like, you know, because of his, you know, because of his Zodiac, he's kind of like claiming things. Um, and he's in like a forest sort of like where Goldilocks lives and saying that the porridge is too cold. Um, and then he talks about, um, you know, dying like a death like a tortoise because tortoises live to be like over 100 plus years old. Um, so they're very old. That's a fun um, animal fact for you if you didn't already know. So I like that he's using Digamortis, like, you know, because it's kind of like their name and kind of like mixing in with the wordplay. Um, so he's so sick, he's infecting everyone else with like his music, basically. So then we have the hook again. Uh, G to the R to the A to the V, E to the D to the I to the G, G to the A to the zigzag Z, grave diggers blank, six feet deep. So again, catchy. Um, so verse five, we have Resurrecta again. So demonic, the sonic is banging like chronic and blanks. Be oddy faster than sonic, bubonic, butonic, you best put it up, put up on it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, beats be programmed ASR and sonic styles compiled for miles and childs, bodies and aisles and upside down smiles reflect, catch, wreck from sunset, sect, revenant, shine, light then thought reflects so the song is basically as like devilishly good as weed he's kind of saying i think so he's driving um faster than sonic um the hedgehog i believe <laughs> so from uh, nintendo um so they're deadly and dangerous and they have six sick beats and, st and styles basically you know kind of similar stuff that they've said before um destroying everybody in uh, battles making them sad they will make your performance look like a ghost kind of like because there's, you know, you, there's no substance in, in your beats and in your rhymes, unlike theirs. And then we have the hook again. I'm going to skip out on it this time. So we've got verse 6 again with Grim Reaper. I came on the scene in a wheel that exil... Exigil... I can't say his name. Exigil? There we go. Scene. To exploit your flaws like Philistines... Look in the sky, oh my, it is I, no alibi, so don't even try to feed me swine, and Grin Reaper's mind is so refined, I'm deep, I'm deep, I'm deep, as a hill or a cliff or a steep, incline at the bottom of an ocean reef. So I don't really know, like, everything about the, like, the Bible, um, I have not read it, um, but apparently this has to do with, like, a throne of, a throne that, like, a throne chariot of God or something like that. That's what I read, something about Ezekiel and what he sees. Uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, he's basically just kind of like another biblical reference about taking advantage of people, I believe. Um, so he's looking in the sky, and it sounds kind of like, you know, like, what's up in the sky? It kind of sounded like a Superman reference, um, but it's him. He doesn't eat bacon, and I was wondering if maybe that was, like, religious reasons, or, I mean, because I don't know why you wouldn't eat bacon if it wasn't for religious reasons. Um, <laughs> or if, like, you're, like, vegetarian, vegan, that kind of thing. Um, so he's refined. He's got, you know, got rid of all the impurities. He's cleansed a little bit. Um, so his thoughts are and rhymes are deep like the ocean, um, kind of like Mariana's Trench, I guess. Like, that's... Uh, I mean, it was pretty, it's pretty deep. So I think that that's kind of where that is. Or sort of what he was talking about, but I don't really know if I agree that his rhymes are quite that deep. Um, but that that's pretty much it. That's the whole song. Um, it sounds a lot creepier when you listen to the song than maybe like when like you listen to it through like me, like kind of like breaking it down. Um, so definitely check it out because I think you need to hear the beat and like, the whole thing. You just need to hear it. So, um, yeah, definitely take a listen to that if you get a chance to. I don't think it's on, um, I don't think it's on Spotify, but it is on YouTube. So you can just go check right now. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys have a happy Halloween and have a happy after Halloween when all the candy is super cheap. Uh, so go get yourself some because treat yourself. Why not? <laughs> so I would like to thank our uh, patrons on Patreon. All that information is down below if you do want to help us out um, with our growing process. 
Um, so yeah, definitely thanks to Linda Williams, Super Old School 1994, uh, Chris Prado, and Ismail Gadamsi. So thank you again, as usual, for helping us out. Um, yeah, so definitely check that out. And um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below on... Um, what other songs you want to see and definitely let me know what you guys are being for Halloween if you already dressed up or if you're not dressing up or pictures of your pumpkins or whatever you want you can definitely let me know down below I'd love to see and hear it all um so yeah um uh, have a happy and safe Halloween and I will see you next time bye guys